MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. Gordon, this is the NTRX machine from Nakamura. It's a new machine to the range. It looks pretty sophisticated. Can you tell me about it? We've got eight and a half kilowatt motors on each spindle. Um, sorry, 22 and a half kilowatts on the main spindles, 18 and a half kilowatt on the driven tool spindle. So essentially though, it's a twin spindle machine yeah. with, a, with a milling head? Yes, and uh, through each of the spindles you can have 80 millimetre diameter feeding. So that's a bar capacity of 80 mil? A bar capacity of 80 mil, there is an option of 90 mil, standard is 65. Okay, so that's quite a big bar capacity for a machine that's quite small. That's right. Nakamura are always uh, conscious of footprint. The spindle motors are all uh, direct spindle motors, no belt drives. So it's, this is obviously different when we look at the WT150 or WT100, they're twin turret machines with twin spindles. This, this goes away from the twin turret concept and brings milling in, into its own really. That's correct. We can offer it with a uh, turning turret on the lower side. Also, this, this machine comes with um, a sub-spindle, but it can be a tailstock variant. OK, and why have they, this, with this being a new model, what, what is new about it compared to previous models? Generally, Nakamura don't offer a machine without a turning turret, but that is new for Nakamura to, to come to the mill spindle only. So is there an advantage to not having that turret down the bottom? I would have thought by having a turret it would give you more tooling capacity, it would give you more flexibility maybe, was that incorrect? It's just market driven, you know, this was what our customers were looking for, competitors have this type of machine so we look to fill that gap in the market with the Nakamura product. And with this B axis here, can you do full five axis simultaneous machining? You can, it is a full five axis machine. Even the two C, C axes can be linked together. And do you have a, a Y axis on this? Yes, it's 250 mil Y axis. It's not a compound, it's a true axis. Um, so plus or minus 125 mil. And your tool changer on this machine, is that housed at the back or in the side? It's housed well over the top of the main spindle. This is a 40 magazine tool, tool carousel. There are options of 60, 80, and 120. Okay, and with the second spindle there, is there anything that you can do on the front spindle that you can't do on the second spindle, or are they equal in their power and capability? They're equal in power and capability. The, the milling spindle, that has uh, 225 degrees rotation, so it's 120 to one side and 105 to the other. So where are you aiming this model at? Have you got lots of people already interested to maybe reduce operations? and? Generally it would be aerospace and um, medical. Could be used in any engineering shop that want to do complete manufacturing. One hit machining. One hit machining. The control, interesting. Just show me a couple of things. I know we looked already, but <coughs> this is a Windows based control. It is, it's, it's a Fanuc 31i, five axis control. It's presented through a PC front end. So what you see here is the FANUC, uh, the FANUC side of the business. What you see up here is Nakamura's touch screen. You can change the screen settings. Um, what we also have is an operator. It's a picture of you. An operator set level. So we've got four different levels. I've got the best setting. Is that because you are the best or? <laughs> Um, and then we also have Nakamura have gone for an app, an app-based uh, touchscreen. So <clears throat> this is in keeping with new technology. You have a QWERTY keyboard. Gone is the Fanuc keyboard. It's the first time I've seen uh, a control looking like this. It does look pretty high-end technology stuff. Yes, it is. One of the benefits: all your manuals are on screen. You can just open up a manual, flick through. You can have multiple manuals open at any one time. Um, so you're basically keeping everything that you might need for this machine in this control? That's right. Also, it's um, you have a typical Windows desktop. 
They've so, spent a lot of time on developing this, I assume, to, to give the operator the best platform to program or to control the machine. They have. The, N the NTIPS control has been around since 2011. They have upgraded it to the app screen in the last 12 months. And then this Smart X is a stage further. It, um, the photograph that you saw before, we have a lot of jokes about that being facial recognition. <laughs> Not really true, but um, it also has a microphone, so there's a young lady prompts you when the feed rate gets turned down. Are you serious? I am. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. So they, they've spent a lot of time and energy in making the control obviously what it is. The hardware, well, that by looking at it, you can see, I mean, we all know that Nakamura is, is a premium quality machine tool. You're hoping to have a lot of success with this model? We are, yes, we've got uh, great hopes for it. Good stuff. Thank you very much for your time today, Gordon. Thank you. No problem. Cheers. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.